it is Sunday the 15th of May. You may be thinking, Michelle, this needs to be the end of week two's vlog. I haven't read more than 10 pages since last Sunday. And it's not because the book's not good. It's it's okay. I, it's been your original week. That's my excuse. And I've just been really busy. Um, so, the book, I don't think I mentioned in the first vlog what I was actually reading. I started A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Um, this was for the Tiana and Naveen prompt, which was an enemies to lovers, because that's what I thought it was based off the synopsis I got. Um, well, not synopsis. Chapter first chapter from the publisher i think i'm slightly wrong in that one um, but basically you have an island that's split in two um two warring clans fairies that are helping one clan but not the other other well they're helping both in different ways fairies spirits um a man a man a boy who grew up on the mainland for 10 years comes back because he's asked to buy his laird lord laird lord same thing um and yeah it's okay. It it's like it's a good book. It's just not holding my attention up to read, but I'm determined to finish it today because D and D is not happening. Um, so I have the rest of today to get through about three hundred pages, which should be doable. But like I said, it's not holding my attention, so I'm not sure if it is. But I'm not pushing myself to finish like four books or more, something with or all my TBR. Um, the rest of my TBR for all readers on this week. Becca's Bacopathon is back next weekend for a 40 hour readathon. I realised the book I wanted to for Ari the book I am reading for Ariel and Eric, Cersei, can fit for one of the first two prompts that have already been released for Bacopathon, which is God's. Um so I'm gonna use that for Saturday's. That'll be Saturday's book. Um because unlike last year for Bacopathon, I'm not pushing to read eight books in a weekend. A Sunday I have D and D, so I need I won't be reading for that. Um, and that, I'm normally out of the house from about quarter past eleven, not home till about five o'clock. So that's a six hours. And um, and B, unlike last year, I am determined to sleep this year. I cannot do forty hours without sleep again, or with like two two hour naps. Um, so yeah, so my aim for next weekend is to read four books, but I will have a separate vlog for that one. So that's why I'm starting this week's vlog on a Sunday. So I will update you when I have finished River Enchanted, which will hopefully be sometime tonight. 2020 Sunday, I finished A River Enchanted. Um, four stars, week four stars. Though. It's a good story once it gets going. Um... The first hundred and just a little bit more pages, very slow to get into, but once the folk side of it starts coming, it's good, and the story starts to develop more, it's good. That first hundred pages or so lay it down. Um, the romance is, I didn't like our main character. Well, I'm not saying I didn't like it. Their romance, it was obvious it was going to happen. It's Enemies to Lovers. It is still a little bit Enemies to Lovers, just not as much as I thought it would be. Um, but I, the secondary love story or relationship story between Torrin and Sidra, I want more. I want to follow them. Um, the ending of this book, oh, it was obvious. I saw it coming 200 pages in. Actually, I saw one of it coming, well, part of it coming 100 pages in, even though it's slow. So, big four stars, um, but I will be picking up the sequel. I'm hoping Illumicrate does a matching one with the uh, spread edges, but who knows, but that's Tiana and Naveen done finally there are three books in that thing there yes my thing's messy i don't know what i'm reading next i'm not reading anything tonight i don't think but if i do i'll tell you in the morning good morning it is saturday the 21st of may it is book up with on weekend um it is half six so i'm not doing what i did last year but if i get into the comparisons um you will notice that this isn't a separate vlog on its own I haven't read anything since I finished River Enchanted. My life has been that busy but unbusy that I've not been either in the mood or had time to read as much as I'd want to, so I've been putting it off. Um, so I am 
joining Royal Readathon and Bacopathon wherever I can. If you were on my channel last year, you will know that during Bacopathon weekend, I read seven books out of eight, and I eight prompts, I should say, and I slept maybe four hours the entire weekend. I'm not doing that this week, Kent. <laughs> Um, the only time really I have to properly dedicate a full day to it is today because tomorrow is D&D. &D. Um, so yeah, I might just pick and choose which prompts I do. My aim this weekend is to read four books and if I can get my Royal Readathon books on there I will be ecstatic. At least two, I'll be amazed. Um, so the first two prompts for Bacopathon, um are to read a book under 300 pages. So I've gone for a comic. Um, Deadly Class Volume 3, um, a comic series about a school of would-be assassins. Um, it's a quick, easy read, it's a series I enjoy, I can knock it out easily. Second prompt is for Gods. Now, I did have other books on my shelves, um, but if you remember from my TBR video, I didn't have a book for Ariel and Eric, which is to read a book about sailors or mermaids. Then Ada came through and told me about Cersei by Madeline Miller. Obviously, Madeline wrote a song, The Song of Achilles, which I really, really enjoyed, five stars. So she thought I might enjoy this one. There are sailors mentioned throughout this book, and she says that there is one myth that mentions mermaids. And how does it connect to gods? Let me read you the first line. In the house of Helios, god of the sun and mightiest of the titans, a daughter is born. So, yeah. Um, I'm hoping it will be like the Song of Achilles, where there were just random mention of gods. Um, but anyway, I can just class that as it. Um, for my prompt. So, yeah, this is... 333 pages. 333 pages. So my plan is, because it's classics, um, and I'm, I had some alcohol last night, so I'm just a little bit tired still. And the plan is to blast this out. About nine-ish, I'll say, to start Cersei. Um, I don't want it finished by twelve when the new rules are, so I can get straight on there. I will happily read this till like three if needed, but I think I'll probably finish it way before then. Um, and then the rules will be announced on someone's channel. I haven't, because of how my reading's been, I haven't done a proper, my proper spread. Um, I'm literally just going to add these on um, in my reading journal and I haven't... <sighs> so sorry, um, I haven't memorised who is to host in what sprints. So, um, yeah, but all I'll do is I'll check the Twitter at like five. Well, no, I'll be on the, I'll be on the um, sprints before five to 11, five to twelve. Uh, but yeah, whoever's hosting at twelve will roll at about five past twelve. So then I can finish this one and then go and see the two prompts. Where if I can, I'm gonna try and join the two prompts together just so I'm not feeling pressure to finish that the book. Then prompts. If I can't get my Bacopathon books on Bacopathon read Royal Readathon books on there, because I'm tired. Um, I do have obviously my shelves, um, that I can pick from. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping it will be a nice reading weekend. Um, like I said, my aim is to read four books. If I get to about a thousand pages, I'll be a happy bunny. Um, but yeah, so that's my update for now. I will update you in about half an hour with what I uh, rate Deadly Class. 20 past seven, I finished Deadly Class. I, five stars. This is my favourite one out of the series so far. I feel like the story was more developed, if that makes sense. Um, Obviously it's two comics in, so I'd expect that, but really, really enjoyed it. Um, But yeah, I, I know I keep mentioning this, for some reason, I'm liking the gory aspect of it. I just, I like the violence. <laughs> um, I'm going to go have breakfast and do a couple of things. And then at nine, I will start Cersei. So I will see you all then. 
Hi, just a quick update. Um, I'm 20% of the way through Cersei, but it is... <coughs> Excuse that. It is about ten past twelve, so Aaron has just announced his second rolls. Um so one of the prompts is to read an ebook or an audiobook. I am I can do that one. I have a few ebooks that I want well, Kindle Unlimited books that I'm wanting to read, one in particular which is a sequel, so I can do that. The second one is to read a book with a colour in the title. I've just gone through my hauled books. And my the whole books are already on my shelves, and the books that I've hauled that I haven't put on my shelves yet, and I have none with a colour in the title. So that means I won't be doing a book for that one, which I don't mind because I'm like I said, I'm only twenty percent of the way through Cersei. I'm not reading it as quick as I thought I would. Um, it's not like Song of Achilles. I'm I'm enjoying it, but I have no urge to finish continue, which is bad. So before I move on to my ebook, I'm going to read Cersei. I'm going to finish it. I will if I finish that by six tonight, I'll be happy because you know what? With my ebooks, I tend to read them quite quick. And if I go with the book I'm thinking of going for, I think I read the first one in like three hours. So on track to read four books. Hello, it is. 8 o'clock, but I actually finished Cersei about an hour ago. Three stars. Um, the first 150 to maybe 200 pages dragged. Um, I didn't want to read this book, which is not good. Um, I actually had about three or four sprints where I literally started to read and went, nope. I just wasn't interested. From 200 pages onwards are where Odysseus is introduced and that isn't, that isn't, spoiler by the way, it is Odysseus mentioned at the back. When he's introduced, it picks up a lot. You feel the story moves on a lot. Um, a bit of a better pace, which I liked. I liked that element of the story. And then you get the uh, repercussions of him being introduced. I like that one part, and then you get the years later part. And I'm trying not to say what happens without, so, so I don't spoil it. Um, but when certain other people are introduced, and that leads to the conclusion of the book, I felt it was very rushed, and that relationship felt icky to me and not right. Um, I will say because of what the repercussion of that relationship is to Cersei's other relationship. There's some other relationships that I can't say what they are about spoiling it. Um, but yeah, that is book two for the Copperthon done. So now it is obviously rules three and rules four. Obviously, um, so rule three is to read an ebook or an audiobook or whichever format you don't really read a lot of. I've gone for ebook, I'm reading. Home is Where the Heart Is by Cassandra P. Lewis. This is the sequel-ish of Home that I read by Cassandra early this year. I give that five stars. Um, in this one, you follow one of the side characters from Home, Daisy, and her story. Her story involves a character who I think was a bit of a dick in the first book. Um, yeah, I apologise for language there. So, and I, I've literally been like, I'm not going to like this this one character, so I'm not going to like Daisy's story. And my lovely friend Becky, who got me, who introduced me to Cassandra's work, is like, no, no, you will. By the end of this book, you will like this character. So, Becky, if I like this character by the end of this book, you need to give me more recommendations. Um, so, yeah, but I, I don't plan on finishing this tonight. It's a 400-something page ebook. While I can get through ebooks quicker, I doubt I'll get through it that quick. Um, <laughs> cut to midnight and me saying, read it! Um, yeah, if that happens, Ada, I give permission to kill me at D&D, even though this will be out after D&D. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm going to have a break now for an hour. Um, I've got some other things to do, and then I want to crack on with where the home is. Home is where the heart is. Yeah, home is where the heart is. <laughs> so it is half seven Sunday evening. I have just finished Home is where the heart is. It is a five star read. I, being completely honest, I didn't like our main 
main couple I thought they were both um pricks to each other because she let him use her and drop her and because he gladly used her and dropped her even though he knew how she felt about him and his excuses after a while were running a bit thin and I didn't like him. Then, then a situation happened with her younger brother um, I've just realised I haven't told you what happens in this book, what the synopsis is. Um, so in Home is Where the Heart is, we follow Daisy and Jason's story. So Daisy is the best friend of Maggie from the first book and Jason is the brother of Rusty from the first book. Um, and it's basically their love story of how they got together. Well, their whole love story at the end, yeah. Um, and how they got to the end, how they got to where they got to in Maggie and Rusty's book. And yeah, so yeah. We also meet in this story, well, we meet no more of in this story, JR, who is um, Daisy's brother. Wow, why did I um, not? Yeah, and surrogate son, she raised him from the age of nine. Um, and we also know more about Noah, who is one of the friends in their friendship group. And there is a scenario with, well, throughout this whole book, there is scenarios with JR and Jason where you kind of, you do start feeling a little bit more nicer towards him. Well, I did just a tiny bit. He was still a bit of a prick. So with this scenario, you kind of see why he's been a little bit of a prick towards Daisy. Doesn't make up for all of it, but makes up for some of it. Um, and by the time you get to the end, you are like, yeah, I'm happy this happened and that they are together. Um, so, yeah, that is book three done for Bookopoly and I'm not going to read another book tonight. I do have another book for the prompts. I'm just not going to get it finished tonight. Um, am, I, am I disappointed? Yes. I think especially comparing last year, I read seven books for Bookopathon. Um, but my life is different this year. My weekend is busier. I I slept this weekend. I also think I didn't pick the right books, especially for Cersei for Gods. I think if I could have read, if I had chosen something else, I may have got through that quicker and I may have had time for a fourth book. But also today, half my day is going to be at D&D and I will not replace D&D with a readathon because I like not being alone. Um, so that is my week vlog done. I... I, I will pick up another book tonight. Like I said, I'm sort of finish it tonight. Um, and that will be for Royal Readathon because I still have three books to finish for that readathon. But I will tell you more about that in next week's vlog, which if I start the book tonight, which I hope I will, if I get enough way through it, I will tell you what that book is. And I will start that book then. But otherwise, I'll start it tomorrow. And this is my long-winded way of ending this vlog. Um, so not the week I expected, not the weekend I had hoped for. But, you know... We move. Um, so until the next video.